what's going on today we're doing a step back to the basics and we're doing a beginner city of challenge that beginner city of challenge name is root me and i think most of you guys have went over this challenge in try hack me so basically this is the room um as you can see in the description a city for beginners can you root me in this challenge we're gonna take a step back and cherish the basics that we have learned at the very first of our journeys in the seal so basically we're gonna go over reconnaissance getting a shell and privilege escalation all of the steps here all of the tasks are easy to answer as you will see down in the video now so let's first explain the flow or the workflow of this challenge and then we're gonna do the practical side so as you can see the very first thing we will do is the in-map scan which is the first thing you would do if you are doing a scanning of any device of any machine after the in-map scan we step to directory brute force and the reason for that is when we scan the machine what among the ports that we will find open is port 80 and also we have port 22 so this one is for ssh as you know and this one is for http as you know as well so since we now we know http port is open we're going to open the page and see that we have a, a simple page we're doing directory brute force to look for hidden directories on the web page we will discover a couple hidden pages on the directory uh, on the site among the hidden pages are you see we have cpanel and also we have uploads so the directory uploads is kind of intriguing therefore we take a look at the uploads directory to find that we have an upload vulnerability in which we can upload reverse shell so the most the, ver the first thing that comes to mind is to upload a php reverse shell um, and there is no any filtering mechanism on the web server to filter for files extensions so we're gonna upload here um, phtml of course the original file is in php but we want to make sure that the reversal gets through that's why we put it phtml or we can use any other extension such as php um, 7 you can also use php 5 as you will see now now after we get a foothold so basically we elevate our game to seek privileged escalation so in privileged escalation we look for files that or binaries that have the suit bit set so that it can be executed as the owner suit bit is actually you can when you list the permissions of any binary or any file if you see the letter s among the permissions such as read write execute and you have s here this is means that the binary or the program or the application you name it uh, can be executed as its owner so say if the owner is root here right and the group is root this means that we can make the binary execute as root why because it has the suit bit set that's why as a security precaution do not put the suit bit set on files owned by the root so exploiting the fact that we will we will find that python has the suit bit set we will go to gtf opens ready uh, methods to exploit binaries gtf opens and we will land root so that's basically the workflow of this challenge now let's step to the practical side so as we mentioned earlier we have two open ports 80 and 20 take a note of the nmap uh, the command that i used here dash sv to scan for the versions of the services and dash is it used in map scripting engine so basically here uh, you know me guys i don't show the in map scan command all the time but actually since we are tackling down a very beginner uh, machine here uh, we need to show the uh, actual the basics of this uh, challenge that's why i showed the command here and these are the results 
Now, since I have port 80 open, I'm going to navigate now to the page and see what it looks like. So going to the page, oops, I typed root me. This is the IP and again we go to the page. So basically this is the landing page of the root me channel. So if you type something, I thought it's interactive so that you can type commands. Can you root me? All right. So I'm not going to spend much time. You can also take a look at the view page source. Uh, there is nothing worth uh, attention here. So we're going to close this one and go back, start our directory search. That's what we always do when we give up on the page. So you can do directory search using directory buster. Uh, you can also use go buster. You can also use FFUF. There are a couple tools to perform directory search. Um, I'm going to use now FFUF. And I have my command ready here. Let's see. No, this is not the command I want to use. So basically, first I define the URL. So my URL is here. And then I define the word list dash w user share word list. Sec lists. I have sec lists. Then we can define discovery web content. Okay. Um, let's see what we have. All right. So these are the files that we can use as word lists. So since we are brute forcing for directories, we're going to need to choose one that is big enough to cover all of the names of the directories. Let's see here, raft small files, extensions, words, medium extensions. I think we don't have one for directories here. Is that possible? Ah, uh -huh, we have one raft medium directories but i think we don't have one for large so small medium no large all right let's try out the medium one lower case let's just pick up the normal one text text and we start so it seems like I have a problem. Let's see. One error has occurred. Keyword fuzz defined, but not found in headers. Aha, uh -huh. we didn't select the keyword fuzz here. So basically in FFUF, we have to select where to fuzz. Since we're fuzzing directories, it comes directly after the address of the target page. In this case, it comes here. Let's start now. So see here, it's immediately started to give out the name of the directories uploads we have and panel so let's go out uh, let's go to these and discover them panel select file to upload now if you go also to uploads my guess is that i made a mistake at the very first of the video i said that uploads is the page where you upload directories and that's fine but uh, my mistake was to say that here you will upload the PHP reversal and that was, that was wrong. We will upload the uh, reversal here. So we'll exploit file upload vulnerability under the C under the panel directory, not cPanel. Uh, actually cPanel, I heard the word a lot since sometimes I deal with web hosting. So it's panel, not cPanel. Okay, so now we select the file. So open a new tab and now we let me mount my directory here where I can find all of my tools. Uh huh. CD back. LS. Where is that repo? Okay. So go to tools. Let's see here. So now we're looking for the web shell. So PHP web shell. And this one is a web shell. This one is a reverse shell. We will pick up the reverse shell. And we're going to open the file and make some changes. 
So the changes are the port and the IP address. I am fine with the port. I'm not going to change it. The thing that I need to change is the IP address since my IP always changes. So I'm going to need to update the IP address with the correct one. Okay, then that's that's it. So next step now, we will just rename this file. So from do the CP, copy the file and give it another name, say shell phtml. This is an example just to get around the uh, prohibited extensions and to make sure that the file gets through the uh, web server. So name it like that and we can go here browse of course we're going to need to open a listener let's see here so we go to repo tools php web shell reverse shell and this is my guy upload okay so this means that the file has been successfully uploaded now to trigger the reverse shell we're gonna have to navigate to that so refresh the uploads directory and we can see we have our reverse shell has been uploaded we're gonna trigger this to make the reverse shell connects back to my listener trigger me okay now we got the first foothold access id and now we are the dub dub data user now let's stabilize the shell make it more stable to easy the process of issuing commands and interacting with the system so in this regard i'm going to go to my notes uh reverse shells aha uh -huh. always my windows defender catches my reverse shell file and sends it to the trash so i'm going to need to tell windows defender please give me my file back and whitelist it it doesn't understand i need to whitelist it every time that's my suffering with windows defender so i'm gonna say allow on device and i'm gonna go to protection history go to threats allowed making sure i'm allowing the right threat <laughs> so it is reverse shells that's fine Okay, it has been restored. Now let's check back. Okay, fine. Now let's go to the part where we can stabilize the shell. Let's see here. All right, stable shell. First, we're gonna issue the TTY. So close this one and this one. Okay. And next, I'm going to export the term. Control Z. And on your attacker machine, issue this one. And you will get this stable shell. Okay. So right now we have a more stable shell. The next thing is, as I told you at the very first of the video, we're going to look for files or directories that have the suit bit set. So we're going to go now to my linux guide i'm going to issue the find command and see where i can find so search in all directories for files 777 let's search for suit so nothing in here i'm going to look for the linux privilege escalation nodes in this guy in this case and search for suit bit set so i have one here so we have two options let's take this one So there is nothing in here. How about this? The first one didn't work. Let's see this one. This one seems working. So we have couple, as you can see, binaries that have this wood bit set. Um, long story short, I think this this command is kind of overwhelming for you guys. I'm gonna. Uh, try a new one find dash perm you can also try perm slash 4000 
for so it bit set this is another way and then say dev not okay that's easier to follow so many binaries right now of course in a real world scenario you're gonna go ahead make a copy of the machine on a, another virtual machine okay and try out exploiting every single one of these so following this methodology you will find that python is the right one that you can exploit and get root so in this regard we can go to gtfo pins and see how we can exploit this one gtfo pins moreover we can just copy that and say ls la So as you can see, the Python is owned by root and has the suit bit set, can be executed by root, right? As the, as the owner root and also as the group root, can be read as root and executed as root. So let's take a look here at um, GTF pins and search for Python. So here we're going to select suit as the method to exploit. And let's see, sudo capabilities so what do we have now sudo install dash m okay never mind this python dash c import os os execute this one invokes shell as the new user or as the root user so how about we try this one let's try it out no such file or directory okay let's copy this one seems like we're gonna have to invoke python from the full path and then gonna copy this part id ah there you go it's root now so we're gonna go to root and cat root dot text that is the flag here we go so now since we finished the challenge let's now go to the room and see the questions that we have to answer reconnaissance see scan the machine how many ports are open we found we have two open ports what version of apache is running we're gonna have to step back and do the nmap scan let's see here so it's 2429 let's do that quick what service is running on port 22? It is SSH. Find directories on the web server using the GoBuster tool. Well, I'm sorry guys, I used FFUF, that's fine. What is the hidden directory? It is panel. Getting a shell. Find a form to upload and get a reverse shell and find the flag, user.txt flag, right? So let's now search for the user.txt flag here. So. Use the find command, all directories, dash type file, dash name, user.txt. So we have it under var dub dub dub, cat, and this is the user flag. Okay. Lastly, it is the root flag. No, search for files with suit permission. Which is which file is weird? Yeah, it is the Python. It's actually indeed weird, guys, to have Python under uh, have uh, to have Python uh, with suit bit set. Right? It's very weird. That's why we stepped out immediately. We stepped immediately to this uh, file to test it to the binary. Sorry. So this is the weird one completed root no this is not the root this is the root flag already then that was root me so easy beginner friendly and it's a great way it's a great machine if you are already getting started with um, testing or doing pen testing for the machines or even if you're preparing for OSCB it's still an easy machine to conquer so that was for today guys i hope you find that helpful 
and definitely we will see you in the next video